Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. The galaxy here in Elite is full of the unknown, it's vast, massive, mostly unexplored, yet this is where the Gnosis comes in. The megaship owned and controlled by the player group Canon Interstellar Research. Now this megaship is capable of travelling around the galaxy and it's currently located in the region of space known as Autos. And you can see the precise location in the video description below. But why is this important? Well, it turns out that the Gnosis is about to undertake what is perhaps its most ambitious mission yet. The next jump for the Gnosis will be taking it into a region of space that is currently inaccessible. The Cone Sector, which was originally not permit locked, but the areas around it were permit locked, but since Chapter 3, since the arrival of the latest patch, the entire sector itself is now permit locked, so there's no getting in there. The only way in is through the jump in of a mega ship, and it may make it, it may not, but if it does, then there may be something interesting awaiting on the other side, not least completely fresh and undiscovered star systems. The best bit about all of this is that if you're so inclined, you can hitch along a ride with the Gnosis and travel to wherever it's traveling. You simply dock here, and when it jumps, you will go along with it. So the system in question is the Cone Sector FNJ B90. We'll have a look at that on the galaxy map in just a moment. Now for the people who have been following Elite Dangerous for any length of time now, Canon Research will be a name well known. They were the group of players who decoded many of the alien messages received from the Thargoids and learned to understand much of the Thargoid technology. It seems possible then that unofficially this may be a part of what the Gnosis mission is all about. Canon are being very tight-lipped, there's no uh, messages either way about what their precise mission actually is, but we do know that the Thargoids are present in that particular region, and again, we'll get to that in just a minute. But first up, a bit of a warning, if you do want to go along, you'll have to ride out here to the uh, current location. It's about 1500 light years from Seoul, maybe 1600 light years, so it will take a while, especially if you come out here in a short range ship. There's no shipyard aboard the Gnosis, but there is an extensive outfitting section where you'll be able to outfit quite a good range of modules. But here's that warning, whilst the mega ship can instantly jump to the cone sector, which is quite a way away, it will be staying there for a period of one month, and the Gnosis is the only way back out and the only way in, so if you do go along, then do keep in mind the only way back out again is with the Gnosis, or alternatively by suiciding your ship and respawning in a sidewinder at the starter system LHS 3447. Then again, speculation is starting to become pretty rampant as to what exactly is going to await the Gnosis on the other side of the jump, so let's get to that. And the first thing we really should do for that is get a bearing on where everything is. So here's the Autot system, this is the, uh, the Gnosis' current location. Do head out on here if you want to tag along, it's going to be here for another six days or so. The inhabited bubble is right over here, so if we put in the uh, solar system, we'll be able to get a good idea on just how far we have to go. So, yep, 1600 light years, that's the precise distance. And then what's going to happen is six days from now, that's next Thursday, Thursday the 6th of September, the Gnosis is going to jump to the Cone Sector. So you want to be on board before that actually happens. I advise being there on the 5th of September, the absolute latest, and it's heading towards uh, this particular system. Now the thing is, when the jump from the Gnosis was originally planned into the uh, Cone Sector here, these areas were not permit restricted. These areas were completely open, but it was the surrounding areas that were permit restricted, which meant that area inside was actually impossible to reach. But now, since Chapter 3, the entire area is now permit locked, which means there's literally no way to get there. And this is what Galnet had to say about the situation. Independent pilots have reported engaging a previously unseen type of Thargoid vessel. The Pilots' Federation confirmed that several of its members have encountered ship in both the Pleiades Nebula and the core systems. Commander Jingcheng Mendez gave this account. My wingmate and I were both hyperdicted while travelling through the Pleiades. We assumed that together we could handle a single Thargoid ship, but this one really soaked up our firepower. I managed to get away, but Leone didn't make it. I've already started retooling my crate with AX weapons, and I want to head back out there and get some payback. 
Now, Admiral Aidan Tanner, Aegis's chief military liaison, made this statement. We can confirm that this new ship, classified the Hydra, is a variant of the Thargoid Interceptor. It is structurally stronger than the Cyclops, Basilisk or Medusa, and releases a larger swarm of Thargon drones. In response to this development, the Pilots' Federation has sealed off the Cone Sector, that's Cone Sector FNJ B90, incidentally the same area that the Gnosis is jumping to, as it's believed to contain high concentrations of Hydra, Hydra interceptors. Despite this, it is understood that the Gnosis, the flagship of the Canon Interstellar Research Group, will attempt to complete its scheduled jump into the now permit-locked system. So it certainly looks like something's going to happen out there in the Cone Sector, at least that would be my suspicion. But either way, even if nothing happens, it's a good opportunity to get to an area of space that we can't normally get to. So again, uh, I do want to reiterate, if you do want to go along, then do get aboard the Gnosis. And you want to be on board before the uh, 6th of September, so try and get there by the 5th at the very latest. And again, I do want to say, make sure you keep in mind that it's likely you could be out there for a month. So there we have it, a new adventure of waiting right around the corner. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.